God instructs us. Matthew chapter 1 verses 18 to 22. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with the child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take you, Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. And she will bring forth a son, and you will call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with the child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. Then Joseph, being aroused from his sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and took to him his wife, and did not know her till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. We have this account here of how God instructed Joseph in a dream not to put Mary away because what was conceived in her was of the Holy Spirit. So God can instruct us through dreams. So you see, Joseph was in a predicament. He was in a difficult situation, obviously, and we can all understand that. And uh, he was inclined to take a certain action, which he thought was just the right thing to do and uh, protect himself and protect Mary. And so he was just contemplating on that. But at that time, God intervenes through a dream. And in that dream, God gives clear instruction. He sees an angel coming and speaking to him in a dream. So we understand that angels can visit us, not necessarily physically, but they can visit us in dreams. And they can come to us and then give us a dream. So an angel comes and appears to Joseph and he gives him a message saying, don't do this, uh, don't put Mary away, take her as your wife, because God is doing something. So God can instruct us in the night season. Maybe it's a business deal that you've been contemplating. Maybe you've been wanting to walk away from that and God says, no, sign the deal. Or maybe you're about to sign a deal and God says, no, walk away from it. And he can kind of give us instructions through dreams. Or it may be a certain purchase that you're about to make or certain other things that your decisions you're gonna make. God appears into us in a dream and he instructs us. And he gives us instruction, he gives us guidance through dreams and we must be open to this we have many other examples in scripture where God directs people where he guides people uh, he corrects people he realigns people into the right direction through dreams let's be open to that God is longing to speak to us let's pray father we ask that you will open this realm of dreams to us and speak to us through dreams Guide us, instruct us, teach us, correct us, realign us, Lord. Through dreams you give us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.